The MP Company is the most numerous type in the US Army's military police corps. MPs in the combat support role have several different jobs. These can be broadly broken down into police, detention, and security and mobility support operations. Police operations include stuff like maintaining good order and discipline, both in rear areas and permanent installations during peacetime, counter-narcotics operations, and training foreign host nation police with police training teams. Detention involves the escorting and guarding of prisoners of war in holding areas or dislocated civilians in refugee camps. But security and mobility is a more complicated category focusing on maintaining security in the rear area. Key tasks for a company could include route security for up to 80 kilometers of supply routes plus the land surrounding them, 400 kilometers of fuel pipelines, maintaining security for major headquarters, airfields, seaports, rail yards, ammunition supply points, other key infrastructure, or high-value personnel. Mounted reconnaissance and security tasks somewhat mimicking a scout unit and defeating weak threats or fixing strong enemy forces in the rear area. For this purpose, MP companies are heavily armed, although in practice, they're never going to have the same time training combat skills that infantry and cav scouts specialize in, or the route clearance skills that engineers specialize in, due to also having to be proficient in the law enforcement function, which is their main point of differentiation. It's more of an economy of force thing. If an MP company can provide security in the rear area, then the maneuver units and engineers can be off doing things to the enemy. But as far as the structure, each MP company has 162 personnel at full strength under the command of a captain. It consists of a company headquarters, an MP operations center, and three military police platoons. The company HQ has the command team, including the commander, executive officer, and a first sergeant, as well as some organic logistics elements that allow it to conduct its own maintenance. This includes a Hemet wrecker for recovery, one MTV 5-ton truck with a tool shop trailer, a contact maintenance Humvee, and two LMTV 2.5-ton trucks. Key sustained personnel include a motor sergeant, supply sergeant, and equipment parts sergeant, with numerous wheeled vehicle mechanics, supply specialists, an HR specialist, and equipment repairer. The HQ also includes a Humvee for the commander and an M1079 van built on an LMTV, the latter of which is used by the MP Operations Center. The Op Center is kind of like a company-level S3 shop. It plans, coordinates, and directs police operations. As such, it has two battle staff qualified sergeants first class to run things, and a small retransmission team with signals personnel. Other key staff NCOs include ones specialized in corrections and detention, plans, and maneuver and mobility support, which is essentially a movement control coordinator. They also have a medical NCO, Seaburn specialist, and some spare MPs. In theory, the Op Center should have one team structured similarly to the teams in the MP platoons, but with a team leader trained in military police investigation and an E4 trained in traffic management and accident investigation. But the meat of the company is the three platoons. These were slightly reorganized a few years ago when the army divested the M1117 ASV and replaced it with the MATV. As a whole, the platoon has five MATVs and eight Humvees. These are split into a platoon HQ, which is meant to have an MATV and three MP squads. I'm told that the first platoon leader generally has a 50 cal machine gun mounted on a crow's remote weapon system, while the second and third platoon leaders have a 50 cal in an open top turret. The platoon sergeant and medic don't have a dedicated vehicle like they used to, so they normally float among the platoon. The squad split up the other four MATVs. In most cases, squad leaders will have an MATV or Humvee with the crows while the assistant squad leader gets an MATV with an open top turret. The other two Humvees in each squad get an M240 medium machine gun or Mark 19 automatic grenade launcher. Each vehicle is crewed by three soldiers, which constitutes a team. In terms of personal weapons, the platoon is pretty kitted out. This is to compensate for the fact that the unit itself is relatively small on the ground. 
Platoons are designed to be able to operate as three squads or even combinations of 12 teams to conduct independent missions for a limited amount of time. Like one squad off doing prisoner collection while another is guarding a brigade command post and another is providing route security in the brigade rear area or something to that effect. Although certain missions are intensive enough to require a platoon, company, or multiple companies to operate in one location, like to guard an airfield or a theater detention facility. Starting with the SL's truck, basically everyone in the company in the military police trade is authorized an M17 pistol. The SL is meant to have an M4A1 carbine and an M320 grenade launcher in the standalone configuration. Their driver has an M249 light machine gun, and the gunner has an M4A1 and an M26 modular accessory shotgun system. The other teams are basically the same in terms of personal weaponry, but without the M26. The Platoon HQ truck is basically armed like this as well. So in total, the three MP platoons share 24 Humvees, or JLTVs if they're modernized, 15 MATVs, 42 M320 grenade launchers, 39 M249 light machine guns, 9 M240 medium machine guns, 21 M2A150 cal heavy machine guns, 9 Mark 19 automatic grenade launchers, and 9 M26 shotguns, although these things can vary and doesn't include company HQ weapons. Prior to 2024, there were 50 MP companies on active duty, including 4 airborne companies at Fort Liberty, 98 companies in the National Guard, and 34 companies in the Army Reserve. On the active side, this provided for 5 companies in Germany, 4 companies in Korea, 2 companies at Fort Polk, and 4 companies under an MP battalion at each divisional installation, except for the 10th Mountain which had 3, and the 11th Airborne in Alaska that had none. But the domestically stationed MP Corps is being reduced by 2,900 spaces. It's unclear how many of the combat support MP companies will be left because our struck details aren't public, but based on what I've seen, it'll likely look like the following. Most divisions will end up with one organic MP company capable of the combat support role. Most current MP companies aren't organic to divisions, but are tenant units, often with an MP brigade at the top. Divisions would also have a military working dog detachment and one law enforcement activity purely for law enforcement. This would have no MP battalion as an intermediary command. High priority divisions like the 1st Armored and 1st Cavalry will likely end up with an organic MP battalion. This would be similar to lower priority divisions, full of two or three combat support companies and a headquarters detachment to lead it. If you found this video informative, I'd really appreciate if you checked out my Patreon. Sponsorship offers have gone really scummy recently, and I'd rather be sponsored by my bro Serto than Predatory Death Solutions, and learn more about combat support with this video on US Army Engineer Firefighting Detachments, the Tactical Fire Truck Force. I'll see you over there.